So this next cycle that's coming on, which is the one that's starting to come into play, starting to have some information upon, is that of conscious co-creation. That really does become more informative right around the midway point. And as of the time that I'm doing this video, we are pretty much there. And that is that of working together, co-creating this world together. And this cycle starts on April of 2012. The midway point is on October 2012. And the end of the cycle is around December the 9th, 2012, which is just that working together, co-creating. We already know at this point what is right and wrong because at, we are going through this cycle in 2010, 2011, and throughout the entire uh, start of the 21st century. There is really no limiting thoughts at this point, and the law of attraction that we've been studying for so long is going to be very much a lot easier now to understand, as that is all part of creating, as the law of attraction is that of creating. So at this stage here, this is where a lot of massive events will come into play because we are able to create a lot of wonderful things. Now with each cycle, the same amount of evolution or change is the same in each cycle, yet it happens in less and less time. So the cycle that we have now is about a 12 year cycle. So the amount of change that we have in uh, 2000 to uh, the spring of 2012 is equal to the amount of change that we had from 1750 to 2000. So 12 and a half years is the same as 250 or about 20 times faster, which means the same amount of change that we had that entire dozen years will now happen in less than a year. So that's why a lot of things are bound to happen during this time frame. The amount of stuff that used to happen in three weeks will happen in a day, which is just quite remarkable in my opinion. So now what is the cycle after conscious co-creation? This cycle begins on December the 9th. The midway point is around December the 18th and it ends roughly between 18 to 19 hours before the zero point reference or that December 21st date. This cycle is all about understanding, understanding what it is we were here for, understanding yourselves, understanding each other for what it is here, for what we came here to do. So that's, there's not much more that I can say upon this. This information came through logic, reasoning, and through spirit channeling. So. It seems as if that there's many other cycles because if we use the information that Dr. Kalaman uses, using the exact same mathematical approaches he has, that it is impossible for the cycle to end on the universal cycle because that would leave uh, a few days or weeks for that matter of time for it to end when we use uh, how they calculate it. So the 10th cycle is that about understanding. Now the 11th, 12th, and 13th cycles, I really put into one, it is that of an ascension cycle, which starts about 18, 19 hours before the ascension. And this is going to be massive because of the fact in the Mayan calendar, the further you are away from something, the less likely you are to understand it, proves that the Mayan, not proves, but shows evidence that the Mayan calendar works well because I can barely understand this now because how can we? It would pretty much break a universal law to have such a lot of great information for what's going to be happening during this 11th to 13th cycle. So theoretically speaking, if the amount of change today in this cycle happens over 12 years, that means before it used to take 250 years on the planetary cycle. Heck, heck, it took 14 billion years on the cellular original cycle. But that means the universal cycle takes a few months. The 10th cycle of that of understanding is that of a week and a half. 
and the 11th cycle is that of about 16 hours. So on the 11th cycle, the amount of change that is happening today in a little over a decade is going to happen in less than a day. That is massive. But it's nothing to be worried about that so much is going to happen because when that time comes, we'll be ready for whatever happens for that time. So once this whole thing is done, that really does bring us to a zero point reference or an infinite moment that will take a massive split second. And it's a lot more to the point of what happens after it. A lot of people have said, well, doesn't the mind calendar just reset itself? And I really am a huge believer that it in fact does just reset itself over and that we will now move backwards. So as we go from cycle 1, 2, 3, 12, up to 13, then we go 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, all the way down to 1, which would be the opposite of the Big Bang Theory, or the death of the universe when it is all said and done. Now, I've also mentioned that a lot of what has happened has been like a death of a dark age. The dark ages are dead, and that is because from the start of time until now, every single moment we have uh, been into uh, this world, there has been just that little bit more love. So at the start of everything, it was well over 99.999% negative and just that small little bit positive. But as we move forward, it got a little bit better. So the actual major hellish events that we've all talked about would have been the infinite beginning. So the amazingly heavenly point would be the infinitely end in 16 billion years from now. So what this means is as we move to the zero point reference in 2012, that's when the scale goes 50-50. So I don't know what the percentage is today, whether it's 40% is good, 38, 44, I don't know. But it does seem as that, those that, that there is a lot of evidence that on 2012, it'll all be boom, even, Stephen, 50% love, 50% fear, which is the evidence used to support the upcoming golden age. And that golden age would be 51% love, 53% love, using the very similar kind of mathematics. Because as we move into the second half, this half is all about things happening in less and less time. Well, the opposite's going to be the truth in the second half. So things will happen a lot slower. Everyone's talking about now, man, does time ever seem like it's speeding up? Well, in 50 years, 100 years, the opposite's gonna be true. They're going to be saying, man, it feels like time is slowing down because of the reverse polarity that this world will be going through. So it's not possible to break a universal law. It is quick, it is theoretically not possible. And when the universe is pretty much saying that in 2014, 2020 and beyond, there's going to be more of a love energy than a positive energy, that means it's impossible for all of these negative things, the Illuminati, if you want to call it, to control the world, we're going to have the chip, and we're just going to be slaves to the system. That's not possible, because in the Dark Ages, what that really refers to is, it's a lot of bad things happening with a few good things here and there, where the Golden Age is going to be a lot of good things happening with a few bad things happening here and there. So I'd like to uh, thank you for watching this video. Have yourself a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.